you know I said I can find anybody in a lie because they can't help but tell the truth. Well, Grandpa, or Papa Smurf as a couple of you guys call him, Grandpa and, and also CBS Miami slips and lets Grandpa tell part truth. Listen to what Grandpa says. He's going to say the politics, which I've already been saying some time ago. He's being political by saying the politics instead of saying exactly what he means by politics. This is sort of like the thing. We got to do things there, you know. So, uh, yeah, now he's saying politics. In reality, let's get this thing. The conversation probably went, we need to put this back on the books. We got to put this behind us. This is not going to be a, uh, a um, um, uh, the collapse in Louisiana. It's not going to be a Hard Rock Cafe thing. We're going to put this behind us real fast. Let's get this over with. That's probably the way the conversation went. And, and but he's going to say politics. This is my thinking. That that's what happened. Let's go. For what he calls a trigger. But he's frustrated that he cannot get samples from the collapsed site because it is considered a crime scene. So it's considered a crime scene, but you don't let the guy that's supposed to be such a uh, you know, valued engineer, I don't mean value engineering, a valued engineer, you don't let him onto the site to do his sampling. But you let NIST there. So NIST obviously is on board with the program, but we can't have a third party conflicting with NIST, a second party. This is why he's been, why he, you know, he's, we don't, they don't, NIST doesn't want to share their report with him first. They don't want to co-author because he doesn't want to co-author. He wants to be the head man. We saw that in the previous video. So they simply, simply you do just keep them out. That's all you do. Just keep them out, and you don't have to worry about co-authoring or him trying to get credit because you see him bragging about being 9/11 and all that. You don't, you don't need that. You need to put this behind you real quick, as the judge um, shows that that in this case that he even wants to see one lawyer. The judge stated one lawyer representing all these people. So they don't give a fuck. They just all about money down in Miami. Watch this. The politics. Is there is a smile. That meaning that's not the word I want to use. Watch. Because it is considered a crime scene. The politics is different than what I'm used to. Usually when we get involved, we're put in charge. And we do what we can do when we have to do it. And there's usually never a lot of hubbub about it. This is And then they edited them out because remember they they're representing CBS Miami. They don't want the truth. They control the narrative. Now this guy's gonna go all about this a confluence. Uh, I, I had to make sure I looked up the definition of confluence. Of course it means just what it means. But I was like, I haven't heard anybody use the word confluence. And I think I don't think I have heard anybody use the word confluence, although we know what it means in my entire life. Uh confluency. That's confluent. But this is the confluence. You know, it's confluent. One of those things in life that is inexplicable, like an earthquake. Now listen to him. He's already made his definition. It's inexplicable, like an earthquake. Now a couple of you comments said they're going to call it an act of God. Of course, I said the same thing, pixie dust. There it is. He's already made a conclusion. It's inexplicable, like an earthquake. Because they don't want to find the real answer, because that means they would have to fix all these damn buildings down there. So this is going to, they, you already have your answer where they want it to go. Like lightning striking, like, a, like a, a spontaneous huge forest fire that destroys hundreds of homes. You know. It, so this is like a forest fire, an act of God, earthquake, everything, everything but construction failure. This was not a construction failure. This was, let's back it up so we can get our definition of what this was. Hold on. It's already been decided. Like, a, like a, a spontaneous huge forest fire that destroys hundreds of homes. She's shaking her head yes. You know, it, nobody knows about. And, you know, we were unlucky enough to be the little town where that happened. Look at the head confirming. We also learned today that they are talking to Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine fernandez Rundle, so that they will be allowed to get in to get those core samples so needed to come to an initial conclusion, which they hope will be in a few months. This is one of those. So I already told you, those taking that core sample, they're going, you, can find a, you can take a core sample that comes back 
positive, depending on however you want it. You, know, you can make it look like shit. So, and this is a 40-year-old building. How many 40-year-old core samples are taken, and, and, and what can you get from that data? What are you going to compare it against? You got another 40-year-old sample that was sitting in the beach at the bottom garage. Did you take one from the other building that was built right at the same time? That would be a good sample comparison. But did he take it? We didn't see him take it. When we have to do it, and there's usually never a lot of hubbub about it. This is one of those things in life that is Listen. inexplicable. It's inexplicable. This is inexplicable. There's the answer. The mayor says it's inexplicable. It's an act of God. Listen to his comparisons. Like an earthquake. Earthquake. Like a lightning strike. Lightning. Striking. Like a, like a, a spontaneous huge forest fire. that. Dis well, in that case, the insurance company should not have to pay. Because clearly, it's an act of God. You know, it's not, it's not, they shouldn't have to pay much at all. Their, their lawsuit sh should be dismissed. This, it's already been determined by the mayor there, representing the city of Surfside, the town of Surfside, if you want to say, that this was just a, a fire, an earthquake. It's just a normal occurrence. You know, it's, it happens sometimes. It's a normal occurrence, but it's got nothing to do with structural issues. Destroys hundreds of homes, you know, that nobody knows about. And, you know, we were unlucky enough to be the little town where the... Now, it's, now the, the little town is going to have to deal with... The deal with... Uh, that they don't want to have it. Okay, let's see if I can find... Maybe I got to go back an image, one video for you guys. Let's see. Go back one video. And no yeah. money in the world. Okay, so I went back one video. This judge wants one friggin' person representing everybody. Money that could possibly be available to compensate Not enough money. these families for their suffering and their loss. Well, there's no amount of money in the world that could do that. And no money in the world could ever compensate uh, what this disaster has brought forth for so many families. Now, we did learn that tomorrow night there is going to be a meeting with survivors and also the families of loved ones to learn more about the money that is already in the bank and will be forthcoming. So at least these families will get some compensation. Mm. Um, How are you talking about money already? Wow, quick. They also, uh, one Listen. of the lawyers said in court, how what a difficult road ahead it is going to be. Uh, this is obviously a case uh, where there is no amount of money. I'm going to find you the one lawyer. To lawsuit. Uh, we don't know how things are going to go in terms of the wrongful death lawsuits. Um, he go. also said that he'd like to have one lawyer just to deal with one lawyer in a leadership role. So <laughs> you heard that? So. <laughs> All these people, 100 plus people dead, and the judge is like, give me one lawyer to deal with. I want to deal with one argument, one person. That is craziness. I, you know, what can you do, guys? You already have the, 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 the you already heard it's an act of God. You hear the, 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 the judge saying, just give me one lawyer to deal with. I, you know, I'm just going to throw all you, all you in one case. And you got the uh, mayor saying, um, you know, act of God. You got their engineer finally slipping up in his words saying it's political. So you know right then that uh, that uh, it's what I was saying is that this is just about taxes and making making the money. Let's, let's hear him say it again. The slip up. That's probably why he's going to send his ass packing. Considered a crime scene. The politics. Is and there's a smile. He's being polite by using the word politics. You know, he's using politics, saying the politics of it. This is not ever going to be a real investigation. If you remember my, my picture I put up here of the, of the cop uh, with the smirk, you know, this, with the smirk on his face. You remember this picture here, the wink and the nod? Well, did you, you guys should see what I did here. What I did was I went through two pictures. Look, he actually had a wink, a smirk, and a nod. When he's talking about the investigation. Smirk, wink, and a nod. So, all right. So, this is not... You're not going to get anything from this. This this uh, Papa Smurf, as you guys call him. Time for him to go back home. He's still part of the cover-up because he's not speaking out. He doesn't want to mess up his reputation by speaking out, saying, this is bullshit. Let me tell you guys what's really happened. 
Everybody's always worried about, even this guy at his age, as we talk about age, right? He's still worried about his reputation. He doesn't want to be known as the guy that went down there and spoke up for the people. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? I got my money. I got my contract. They don't care. They're going to allow one lawyer anyway to uh, represent them, and they just want their money right now anyway. So if they don't care, I don't care. That's the way that goes. That's the way that goes in real life. You know, you just throw in the towel. You're like, you know what? Fuck them. Just give me my contract money. And uh, you know what? I know the real deal. And I'll tell some select people in my group because he has to tell. He has to tell. So I took a yes, right? And in there it says that uh, we have to tell somebody our crimes. But now that falls into my amygdala theory is that we can't tell a lie. In his case, holding it in his brain would be holding, telling a lie. My amygdala says the reason why you have to tell somebody else is to let the truth come out. You can't have that conflict of the lie stay in his head, including the, the, the part of it will be the smirk laugh of the, the smirk of the cop and his using the words politics and then the smirk on, on and then the smile. The politics. You know, the politics, you know, and then the smile there. So this is the giveaway of this guy. All right. So you know, with me, I don't have a giveaway. You know why? Because I just tell the fucking truth. I tell the truth. You want to know something about me and you know me, I tell it. I learned it a long time ago from somebody. Tell it. Somebody asks you something, just tell it clearly. Tell it all. Tell it fully. Tell it completely. Tell it all with no embarrassment worried about it. Just give it up. And whatever they want to do with it, they want to spin it, they can spin it. You can't stop them. So just tell it cleanly. Tell it all. Tell it fully. That's not mine. Someone else came up with that. Another, another genius came up with that, I would say. A genius because he was a, uh, he was he told he was, he was really representing politicians on how they should handle situations. Tell it all, tell it completely, tell it fully. But not these guys; they're still politicians, and it's a different version of pol politicians. That, that's talking about when they get busted. In this case, and then apologize, of course. In this case, no, we have him saying this is an act of God. And we had the pilot, and we see that the news is all about it. They edit him there, and then we jump into here. Never I'm going to end it on this part. It. This is one of those things Watch in life that it's already been rehearsed because she's always shaking her head yes. So it's already been rehearsed. Remember, I told you how to do it. They asked the questions. I'm going to ask you next. Um, what do you you know? What do you think it, the answer is? Do you think it's uh, and so they rehearse it, and you can see she can't help but shake her head, going yes, that's that's right, that's right, that's right, that's what we agreed to. Is Look. one of those things in life. That All he said was one of those things in life, and she's already shaking her head yes. Uh, this is one of those things in life that is Look inexplicable, like an earthquake. See the yes, the yes, the yes. Like lightning striking. Yes. Like a... Uh, like oh, he didn't even finish his first word, and she's saying yes. You're, you're doing a spontaneous, huge forest fire that destroys hundreds of homes, you know... It, nobody knows about and you know we were unlucky enough to be the little town all right i can't take it i'm triggered by her the narrative they're putting out here the question she should ask then is going so mayor you don't think it's something structurally deficient that happened here no this is all a cover up the news is so msm mainstream media smd suck my ugh. and i don't mean in a positive way that's a negative way when you say that so sort of like when you curse you can curse at your friends nicely, and then you can curse at them badly. So one curse is a nice way, one way is the other way. Because I uh, enjoy the other way, the, for, the better of the two ways. But I'm sharing that because this is, this is how pissed off this gets me, that this, this works. This still works. This friggin' narrative, the way they do it, this still works as controlling it. And this is because they give you a conclusive file I talked to you guys about. Damn it! They give you a conclusive file, and then you have that conclusive file, and then they give you the data that tells you why it's a conclusive file, and you believe it. It's controlling the narrative is the way you do it. I'm fucking pissed. I'm done.